Hey my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. In today's video, I'll be trying your favorite fountain pen inks. Some of you may remember that a few months ago I shared some of my favorite fountain pen inks and if you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked in the cards and in the description box below. In that video, I asked for you to share your favorite inks and I've been compiling a list of them in my bullet journal. I did try to put together a similar type of list in one of my earlier planners, but I think I just needed to have a fresh start in my current bullet journal. So if you have recommendations for inks or any other stationary items that you think I should try, feel free to drop that in the comment section below. But let's go ahead and talk about three inks that I've tried that you've recommended or have shared with me. The first ink is Pilot Kompeki, and this is my first bottle of Irushizuku ink. I feel like I'm not saying that right. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying it today, but I feel like these inks are just kind of a, a favorite and a standard within the fountain pen community. Without a doubt, they have some of the most beautiful colors. And my first full bottle, and actually my first time trying an ink from this line at all, is all thanks to my pen friend Daniel. So Daniel, if you're watching this, thank you so much for sharing this ink with me. This line is considered to be comprised of luxurious colors that reflect Japan's beautiful nature and scenery. Konpeki, or AKA Deep Azure Blue, is just such a striking blue. For me, it really is a no fuss type of ink and the shading is just, it's perfection. I don't know why I did a, like a Disney character kiss there, but there you go. I've mentioned this in at least one prior fountain pen video that when I first started using fountain pens, I was a tad irked that when a fountain pen came with an ink cartridge, that it was often the color blue. And it's not necessarily that I don't like the color blue, it's just that flat blue that they give you. Well, this, this is a blue that I would want to use. This is a blue that I would ha be absolutely ecstatic to have come with any of my fountain pens that I purchased. So Konpeki is definitely a favorite. I'm so glad that I tried it. It was sent to me by my pen friend Daniel, but I also was recommended it by you guys. So I'll have your names listed here. Thank you so much for recommending me such a gorgeous ink. I've been enjoying Konpeki in my Twisby VAC 700R. I Iris. I feel like it's a match made in heaven. These are, this is a soulmate situation here. Like the, these two are a magical pair in my opinion. This next ink was sent to me by my pen friend, John. So John, thank you so much for thinking of me when you received this ink. It is the Robert Oster Signature Dutch Peach. This is actually my first full bottle of a Robert Oster ink. I do have quite a few ink samples, but all thanks to John, I can now say that I own a Robert Oster full bottle of ink. So for those reasons, it already has a special place in my heart, but this was actually a free gift given from the Dutch Pen Show. I believe they were pairing it with the Leonardo Memento Zero, as my friend John told me. And he he was so kind to think of me and to, to send me this ink. I currently have this inked in my Sailor Pro gear and prior to this ink, I had Urban, I'll put the title here so I don't butcher it, but I knew when I ran out of that ink sample that I wanted to stay within the same color family. So when I saw that John sent this to me, I just felt like I had to try it out in this pen and I've been enjoying it a lot so far. I personally don't own Robert Oster's Peach, but I looked it up online and just from the swatches that I saw, I feel like Dutch Peach leans a little bit more orangey. I describe it as a more deep, juicy type of peach color in comparison to Robert Oster peach. Dutch peach has definitely become a favorite in my collection. I love that it's 
more of a bright color but it's still easy to read and just the shading is phenomenal. This next ink is Faber-Castell Garnet Red and this was sent to me by my pen friend Peter. So Peter, if you're watching this, thank you so much. He sent me a couple of different ink samples but this one in particular, I decided to put in my Kaveco Skyline Sport with a medium nib and again, another like stellar pen and ink combo. I just... I like that it's such a deep red and it contrasts with this bright white barrel. This line of inks are also inspired by nature and they feature a smooth ink flow and dry resistant formulation. I would say from my experience, I would agree with those claims. I just really enjoy using this ink and I think because I'm using it in a medium nib, I'm able to enjoy the richness of the color a whole lot more. I would describe this color as a deep wine-like burgundy red. And just like the previous two inks, I feel like Garnet Red has some sublime shading. I guess that's the theme for this roundup of inks. And I, I suppose that's really what I've been enjoying most lately. It's interesting because when I first started using fountain pens, I was very much drawn to the shimmer and glitter inks, but taking it a step back and, and just like appreciating the, the full nature of shading inks, I guess that's where I'm at in my journey at this moment. But I would love to hear from you. Have you tried any of these inks? What do you think about them? And what inks do you think I should try next time? I would love to turn this into a series, so let me know your feedback on that. Would you like to see a continuation, a part two of me trying your favorite fountain pen inks? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST, so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.